Hello there guys, Mr. Gibbs here from Art Victoria Academy. Here's another PE video for you guys to be getting along with at home. So let's get started straight into a warm up and then we'll get started with our following on from our javelin lesson last week, okay? So let's get started with the upper body first. So all we're gonna do, put one arm across and then we're gonna pull with the other arm, okay? Hold that for about eight to 10 seconds for me on each side. So there's one side. Next one, make sure we pull with our right arm for our left side here. Good. Next one, we're gonna put our arms up nice and wide. We're gonna create small circles. Getting bigger. And then bring it back in nice and slowly to get really small again. Good, okay. Next one we're gonna do is our legs. So what we need to do is put our heel on the floor and push down with both arms on the top of our leg here, okay? Hold that for about eight to 10 seconds. You should feel a good stretch going right down the back of your leg. If someone can tell me what muscles there are down the back of the leg there, fantastic. So remember, both sides, eight to 10 seconds for me, okay? Good. Now we've got our arms and our legs warmed up, we can follow on from what we were doing last week, which was shot put, and into this week's lessons for some of you, which was javelin, okay? So if you missed out on this week's lessons, don't worry, we're gonna go through javelin. Now there's a few things to remember when we're doing javelin. If we are using one of these, we need to make sure we're in a lot of space. However, if you don't have one of these at home, which a lot of you probably don't, you can use a water bottle. Now, all you need to do is have a water bottle which has got just a small amount of water in, so it's got a little bit of weight to it. So a bottle's about that big, and all I want you to do is have water in just this, a little bit of the bottom of it, okay? So just about that much full, because I still want you to be able to throw it, okay? Hold the water bottle, in the middle, just like I'm holding this javelin. Now all we're gonna go through today is the proper technique of how to throw this a good few feet away. So I'm gonna put this down for a second. When throwing a javelin, all you need to do is turn sideways on. If you're right-handed, your left shoulder will face the direction that you want to end up throwing the javelin in, okay? All you're gonna do is keep your feet facing that way, rotate your body backwards, and then have your arm nice and straight, rotate and release when your arm is up here, okay? If we release down here, the javelin or bottle which you're going to be using at home is going to go onto the floor, okay? I'm gonna quickly show you this direction and from behind so you can see exactly what I'm gonna do and you can copy me at home, okay? So feet are gonna go this way, left shoulder is facing the direction that I wanna throw it in, arms nice and straight, I'm gonna twist my body, bend my knees a little bit, the top of the javelin or the top of the bottle for you guys is gonna face your chin and cheek there, I'm gonna twist and then I'm gonna release it when it gets to about there and it should go a good distance over there. Watch me and copy me at home, okay? Bend your knees, nice and straight, up and down and over, okay? So make sure a couple of key points. Firstly, make sure you're in a good space to be able to do this activity. Secondly, make sure you're asking permission before you do it. And thirdly, make sure you're having fun with it. Couple of key focus points. Make sure your feet are pointing that way. If you're right-handed, left shoulder should face the way you're doing it. If you're left-handed, right shoulder should face the way that you wanna throw it. Make sure you are bending your knees, twisting your top half of your body, keeping the arm straight all the way to the top there. Make sure you release it at the top and not at the bottom, okay? Because if you release it at the bottom, all that's gonna happen is the javelin's gonna go and hit the floor and it's not gonna go far at all. 
So there's your key focus points. I'd love to be able to hear you guys tell me how far you've thrown it and how far you're able to throw these bottles. Make sure it's safe, make sure you're in a good space outside as well. Make sure you're asking permission first, okay? Best of luck, give that a go for me and I'm looking forward to hearing how you got on next week.